Hello, boys and girls. Today we'll be talking about estimation word problems. Let's get started. Here are some keywords you might see in a word problem. About, estimate, roughly, approximately, round, closest to, and nearest. Estimation rules. Estimate the numbers first before solving. Round to the closest place value. Example, 52 rounds to 50 because that's the nearest 10. 587 rounds to 600. That's the nearest 100. If estimating money, round to the nearest dollar. Let's go ahead and look at some examples. Let's go ahead and use one of these strategies and solve a word problem. Mrs. Munir needed to go home and find the nearest train station. There was one on 50th Street and one on 60th Street. If Mrs. Munir was standing on 58th Street, which station is closest to her? Let's go ahead and use a problem-solving model to solve this problem. To find out what's the answer stem, let's go ahead and read the question. If Mrs. Munir was standing on 58th Street, which station is closest to her? Our answer stem is, the closest station to Mrs. Munir is, and that's what we're trying to find. Now let's go ahead and look at the important information. We know that one train station is at 50th Street and one train station is at 60th Street. So I will be using an open number line to solve this problem. If Mrs. Munir is on 58th Street, I know that 58 is between the numbers 50 and 60. Now if I draw my number line, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, I'm going to see if I'm standing right here, which station is closer, 60th Street or 50th Street? If you said 60th Street, you are correct. 58 rounds to 60. And our answer is, the closest station to Mrs. Munir is 60th Street. Let's go ahead and try another example. Mrs. McKnight went shopping over the weekend. About how much does she spend all together? So we see that there's three items that she bought. A dress, shoes, and a shirt. Let's go ahead and use our problem-solving model to solve this problem. First, we're going to go ahead and write our answer stem. Our answer stem restates the question. So our answer stem for this one is, Mrs. McKnight spent blank all together. Now let's go over to the important information. We know that she bought a dress for $43, shoes for $31, and a shirt for $18. But remember, it says about. So that means we're going to round these numbers first and then solve the problem. To round these numbers, I will be using an open number line. Let's go ahead and look at our picture model right here. The first number, 43. So when we look at our number line, we know that there's 40, 50. The star represents the midpoint, which is 45. And 43 will lie somewhere over here. 43 is definitely closer to 40. So 43 will round to 40. Let's look at our number 31. 31 will round to 30. And 18 will round to 20. Let's go ahead and add up all of these numbers. So we have here 40, 
plus 30 plus 20 equals 90. And our answer is Mrs. McKnight spent $90 altogether. Let's try our next problem. Julia loves to collect rocks. On Monday, she found 13 rocks. On Tuesday, she found 18 rocks. And on Wednesday, she found 23 rocks. Approximately, how many rocks does she have? Again, let's go ahead and use a problem solving model to solve. Our answer stem is Julia has blank rocks. Our important information is there's 13 rocks, 18 rocks, and 23 rocks. Again, the word approximately means we are going to round all of these numbers first. Let's go ahead and use our place value chart to solve. So the number 13, we're gonna write it on our place value chart. On the ones place, there's three, and on the tens place, there's one. To solve this, we're going to ask ourselves, we need to round this number. This is the tens place. But again, we always have to look next door. The next door neighbor, is the number three. And we ask our next door neighbor, are you five or more or four or less? Since this is four or less, everything remains a zero. One stays the same. So 13 rounds to 10. Let's look at the 18. Eight ones, one tens. We need to round the tens place. We look next door and we ask ourselves, are you five or more or four or less? This number is five or more. This is eight. So we're going to add one more to the tens place. So 18 rounds to 20. Next, we have the number 23. Three ones, two tens. We're rounding the tens place, so we look next door and we ask ourselves, are you five or more or four or less? The number three is four or less. So that means two stays the same. Everything becomes zeros, 23 rounds to 20. Now we're gonna go ahead and write our equation. We have 10 plus 20 plus 20. The answer is 50. And our answer stem will be Julia has 50 rocks. Let's go ahead and solve this problem. Layla checked out seven books last week. This week, she checked out 18 books. Estimate the number of books Layla checked out this week and next. First, we're going to go ahead and write our answer stem. Layla checked out blank books. Our important information is she checked out seven books last week and 18 books this week. Because it says the word estimate, we are going to round these numbers first. In our picture model, we will use the rounding hill method. We know that number seven is between zero and 10. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the rounding hill, seven, seven will round to 10. So we're gonna say seven rounds to 10. Next, we have the number 18. 18 is between the numbers 10 and 20. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We can clearly see that 18 is closer to the number 20. Therefore, 18 rounds to 20. For our equation, we're going to go ahead and add 10 plus 20. And we know that the answer is 30. And our answer stem is Layla checked out 30 books. Here are some other problems you may solve. Miss Husty picked 49 apples. 
Miss Burnett picked 33 apples and Miss Early picked 28 apples. Approximately how many apples do they have all together? Remember to use a problem solving model to solve. And for the picture model, you may use an open number line, the place value chart, or the rounding hill. Here's the next example. Austin and Noah recorded how many points they scored in total. Austin scored 66 points and Noah scored 89 points. About how many points did they score in all? Again, use a problem solving model to solve this problem. For the picture model, you may use the place value chart, rounding hill method, or an open number line. Adam loves to collect cars. On Monday, he collected 19 cars. On Tuesday, he collected 28 cars. And on Wednesday, he collected 21 cars. Approximately, how many cars does he have? Again, we're going to go ahead and use a problem solving model to solve this problem. You may use the three different strategies place value, rounding hill, or an open number line. I hope you enjoyed our video on estimation word problems. Thank you and have a great day.